I guess for all three of you, starting with Kylie, just take us through the journey from when you arrived here as either freshman or transfer to uh, getting ready to play your final regular season home game. Um, it's been a long journey. Um, coming in as a freshman, having the people ahead of me, not knowing what was going on and transferring like from high school to college, but it's been a great journey. I mean, a Sweet 16, uh, Final Four, Grade Eight. Um, so it's been it's been great. A lot of memories have been made. Um, for me, I mean, it's just a special year, you know. Um, transferring from Pittsburgh, you know, this is all I ever wanted, you know, to win, have a chance to win the ACC championship, and have a chance to win and uh, like compete for a national championship. So this is like a great experience for me and a dream come through. Um, for me, like Kylie said, you know, um, it's been great, a great experience, but it's crazy to look back and think that it's already been four years since um, we've been freshmen. It really does go by very fast, and, um, you know, having, um, like Kylie said, an Elite Eight Final Four under our belt, but this year we're going for a national championship, and we're not finished yet, so things to look forward to. Obviously, like you guys said, you guys have other hopes and goals for this season, but um, I was just kind of talking to Dana. She mentioned obviously how much of team players you guys are. Um, is that Where does that come from for you all? Or is that just something that kind of has been there since you guys got here? Um, I mean, Coach Walls really tries to have us work as a team, so – I mean, you can't do it with one person. You can't do it with two people. you got to work as a team. And I think that's where our success has come because we have elite players like Dana, Yasin, Jess, Bianca, everybody. But when we work together, we're just 20 times better. What is the, the leadership dynamic between all of you guys? Like, how do you work together and, and use your different personalities to to guide the, the younger players? Um. It's just like, uh, I think it's just understanding each other because like you said, we all have different personalities, but when it comes to the team, um, sometimes you just gotta put your ego aside and just you know work as a team and understand, understanding what the teams need and what, they, what role they need you to play in and just buy into that in order for us to be uh, a team and united and play as one. Yaya, how big has this year for you been after what you went through last year and, and having to sit out and to be able to get this opportunity? Oh, this is a great opportunity, like I already said. Um, um, you know, from coming out from uh, an ACL and me, this being my last journey and transferring from Pitt, like I said, this is all I ever wanted. This is, this was the reason why I went left Pitt and to come to Louisville. And hopefully um, next step is winning the national championship. For Yaya, yeah, uh, uh, when you perhaps came on your visit, and then for uh, Jessica and Kylie, when you came for your initial visits when you were freshmen, do you remember who took you on your tours and what advice they gave you perhaps versus the advice you may have given to the younger players this year? Um, yeah, um, it was uh, Jasmine and Erica um, that took me on a tour for a little bit, showed me around campus, you know, you know talked me through it, like what's, what it's like to be uh, uh, uh in Louisville, like to be uh, a Cardinals, but it was a great experience. That's why I like, um, how you say, it, committed on my visit. Um, for me, the first people I met were Sam and Maisha. So I got to Coach Walls' house, and um, they were pulling up. And I don't think they really knew I was going to be on the team at that time. So it was kind of weird, but um, they really just talked to me and accepted me, and you know, um, everybody else too. So. I would say AC and Maisha were probably the most impactful because they were goofy, and I was like, oh, okay. Like, it's not all straight basketball. Like, it's a fun atmosphere, so that's what sold me. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you're the only one out of this group that didn't come here as a freshman. Just what has it been like to, when you got here, adjust to them, or just how, how did they welcome you in here when you got here? Oh, they welcomed me with open hands, and, you know, they were very welcoming, and, um, and the adjustment was, it wasn't easy at first, but uh, like I said, and I played three, what, three um, games, and then I tore my ACL, and then I had to, like, come back and be with the team on the court and learning, like, new type of plays, and, you know. So it wasn't um, 
easy at all. But you know, we, by the end of the season, like we got adjusted. So there've been a couple of references to chasing the national championship. You're doing it this year without Asia. Maybe a little more under the radar for any of you. What gives you a better chance to do it this year than maybe last year? Um, I don't think it's a better chance because, you know, Asia, AC, and Sam, we lost great players. But I think this year um, we all kind of had to find a different role and a way to step up. And I think we have done that. And I think, um, you know, throughout the season we've proven ourselves that we can beat the best and we can be the best. So um, I think just um, teamwork and communication and just sticking together as one is really going to take us far. Kylie and Jess, you both have been around for four years. Kylie, talk about Jess when you first met her, and Jess, you do the same about Kylie, and where, where each of you have come. The first time I met Jess, um, actually, she picked me and Sid up to go to the gym, and I was like, oh, hi. She's like, yeah, actually, I'm on the team, all this stuff. So I was like, oh, okay, hey. So um, we just shot around, and then we got closer and closer as years go on, now we're roommates, but she's involved into a wonderful woman. Um, I mean, she's always been great, but the maturity and everything that you've been through and you've always had my back. So, I mean, she's turned into a great person. Well, thanks, Kylie. Um, I think that, yeah, the first time I met Kylie, I guess, was either going to the gym. I think we had a pickup game as, um, as well on the Sunday that we got here. Um, and I knew Kylie was from Colorado, and I was from here, so... I knew it would be a different experience for her because she was moving from for so far away. So I knew, like, we would uh, turn into great friends. But just like she said, I always had her back. She always had my back. And, you know, now we're roommates. We've been roommates for three years now. And just it's been great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll give you a chance to kind of brag on your two teammates here on their skills and what they've meant to you. And then uh, each one of you talk a little bit about yeah, yeah. Um, Kylie, she just um, goofy. She when I first got here and I met Kylie, I was like, why is she talking like that? Like, cause she was she likes to talk like a little kid, you know, being goofy. And you know, I thought she was fun. You know, fun, it's, she's a fun person to be around. And Jess, Jess is just you know, Jess always. You know, she's a um, leader. You know, she's someone you look up to. You know, cause she always like um, know what's going on and like how to do things right. So. Okay, so the first time or the first real memory about Yaya is we were playing pickup and she threw the ball off the backboard and went to go get her own rebound and put it back up. And I was like, oh my goodness, who is this girl? <laughs> but no, that's just, <laughs> um, but no, Yaya is great. She, uh, she has the biggest smile and she can dance, which she's tried to teach me to dance, but it just hasn't worked out. But no, <laughs> and like I already talked about Kylie, so. No, Yasin's energy lights up the room. Uh, great to be around. <laughs> Kylie, for you, I know you touched on it a little bit as yesterday, but just kind of go the journey you've been on since your freshman year to now. And Co Coach Walls has talked a lot about the growth you've, met, you've made. What has that meant to you, and what do you think it'll be like? I know you play here in the NCAA tournament. Just what will it be like on senior day for you? Uh, well, it's gone fast, so it's kind of like uh, this is really here. Like, it's my senior day. Of course, it'll be emotional, but, I mean, my journey's been hard and long. Coming in as a freshman, uh, like I said, the transfer from high school to college is big. So I started. I ended up starting my freshman year, and then I kind of slacked off. And my sophomore and junior year, I was behind great players. And now going into my senior year, I realized I had to pick it up. So, I mean, it's it's been a struggle. I've had injuries, surgeries, all that stuff, but... I mean, it's amazing that it's already here, and it's kind of scary, but I'm ready. I mean, it's great. Sunday, you go through senior day. Talk just a little bit about this fan base and, and what you've experienced with them during your time here, all three of you. Um, our fans are amazing. They've been by our sides through everything, losses, wins. Um, I would just say they're so impactful. Uh, they don't really realize how much they really do mean to us when they cheer us on and help us in games. So they're great. Um, yeah, the um, our fans are like one of the um, greatest fans I think in the world. So like all I can say is just thank you. Thank you guys.
Yeah, going off of what they said, um, they always have our backs, wins or losses. Um, they're always sticking with us, and just thank you for being the fa best fans in the country. Jess, you guys have a game. You've already clinched. You already know you're going to be the one seed. How does this seniors keep everybody focused on a senior day? And then Jess promised last night she's not going to cry. Who will? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, um, you know, we clinched the um, ACC regular season title um, last night. But I think for us, it's not going to be, you know, all the way there yet until we finish this game on Sunday um, because it is a big game. Virginia Tech's good. Um, I think they just beat Duke last night. So it's it's a very big game for us. And then going into the tournament next week, um, you know, having one more win behind us will definitely give us some confidence. Um, and then what was the second question? Who's going to cry? Oh, who's going to cry? <laughs> Kylie. <laughs> Kylie's definitely going to cry. I don't know. I think I think all of us might shed some tears because until you get out there walking – um, with your family, I don't know. I think, I think all of us. Jazz is definitely going to cry. No, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Seen last year uh, in Albany, I think when I sat down to interview you, you said you want to talk to me. And what about this year? Besides the fact that you've been able to get back on the court, has made you feel a little bit more comfortable being in front of the spotlights, in front of the crowds, and things like that. Um, I think my teammates first and then coaches and for like giving me the confidence like for me to be out there and playing so my teammates had a lot to do with that and I just say thank you guys for like you know tr trusting me and you know welcoming me with like open arms. For all three of you um, the relationship with the coaches that you've built from recruiting on to today what are some of the things that you know, maybe basketball related, maybe not, that you will take away from your relationships with them over the four more, four more years? I have a really close relationship with Coach Walls and Coach Norman off the court. Um, on the court, he pushes me to be the best, and so does Norman. But off the court, I've always been able to come to them with my issues or problems or how I've felt. So I appreciate them, and until I die, like, I'll always appreciate how they were here for me. So, I mean, they're great. Um, I have I have a good relationship with the coaches, and I think that's uh, that's not going to end like when I'm graduate. I think that's it's going to be like a long, a lifetime relationship with them. So, I also have a great relationship with the coaches. But I think one thing um, that I've learned most from uh, Coach Walls is to always try to put a smile on somebody else's face because you never know what other people are going through. So, you've got a couple of other seniors that'll follow you up there at the head of the table. Take a minute, Jess, and talk about what Jazz and Bianca have meant to you over these years. They've been great. Um, no, Jazz and B, they're probably two of the funniest people around. I mean, honestly, they, they're just always smiling, always laughing, always bringing positive energy. Um, both of them talk and communicate on the court, so it's so easy to play with them. And just come. We came in together four years ago, and now we're about to leave, so... I know. <laughs> I'm going to have to start crying now, but no, they, they're great. Um, Jazz and Bianca, they're just two special people, man. Um, their uh, energy, you know, their, how they, like, um, carry us on the court, like, their leadership, it's just great. So, um, and Jazz, they both goofy, and they do both, like, like to dance. So, they, they both got great, great personalities. So, love you guys. Um, yeah, I mean, they covered it all. They're just somebody that you want to be around, and Jazz and Bianca can both light up a room and just make everybody laugh. So it's a great environment with them. Thank you. Thank you.